Hello, my fair Scrapper family, it's Photograph here, and welcome back to another adventure of me. And welcome back to Stormworks. And today, yeah, well, Stormworks again, well, I've explained it a million times before. Um, today we are messing with, um, an ironclad, um, rather, um, back in like the 1800s, like the Great Asian, only it's an ironclad. This ship is called the USS Monitor. Um, this was an, this was a very famous ironclad. It fought for the Union Army of the Civil War. And you have fought the CSS Virginia, which, believe it or not, that ship was actually built for the sunken ship, which is pretty cool. Um, but, you know, as you can see, there's a funnel, there's a tower, um, those two things, wherever they are, I can't really describe them. There's two lifeboats. Low freeboard, which is um, the distance from the water line to the deck. So it kind of disadvantage, but there's propellers there, so that way it's hard that the propellers are very well hidden. Like, ironclads are known to like be very strong. If you hit them, no matter how many times you hit them, um, like... They will not get damage whatsoever. Um, and what am I gonna say next? <laughs> um, so yeah, this was an ironclad. I like I said, I fought the CSS Virginia, all that jazz. Um, it was for the winning side of the Civil War. Sadly, however, one day, um, she was in a storm, and because of her very weak freeboard um water easily got onto the decks and they snuck into the hatches and she sank however though in the 1970s i believe she was found again um maybe some other year but it was definitely in the 1900s so that's that's for sure um it was found again and yeah <laughs> so that's all the history i know though but without further ado Let's get into this thing. Well, I'm already in it, as you may tell. So I got a new shipyard there. It's not made by me. It was made by somebody else. Can't remember the name. Sorry about that. But let's get inside. Well, yeah, we're already inside. But let's have a tour. I'll look around. So clearly, I'm actually in the wheelhouse. Um, cause. I'm not sure whether you could call us a bridge or not, but believe it or not, that's not where the wheelhouse is. I've, I, even though I've thought the wheelhouse was there, but no. Actually, the wheelhouse is, like, in here, on, like, the bow, which is very weird. Even the CSS Virginia never had her wheelhouse on the bow. But she had a little freeboard, too. But, um, this is, uh, for the horn, so don't worry. If you're worried what that button is, it's the horn. Um, my, um, just so you know, it can turn really fast, probably because of that. So, yeah, just want to let you know. Um, so down here, it's a crouch a bit. Love the detail. It's made by, hold on, let me check my map. Mobius 1, this is the same guy who made the CSS Virginia. Which I might check very soon. But there's a map here, love the detail. And here the buttons aren't labeled, but I can already tell what these rooms may be. This is like some sort of like food storage. Perhaps where you keep all your food to cook. And in here you got the galley, which is used to obviously cook food. As you can see, we are getting numbers. I think that's just cosmetic, but. Probably they're just for fun. Perhaps that's temperature. Um. But anyhow, the. Oh. Wait, what? That was weird. Alright. Um. We got this inner room, and be careful when opening up these doors. You never know when water is gonna come on the deck or not. It might not. Chances are zero, but. Here are around deck. There's the wheelhouse, although it's in like the weirdest place possible. This anchor. I'm not sure whether um 
that was misspelled purposely. They actually called it with anchor with a K. Because it has a K on every single one of them. <laughs> um, the, okay, got the light boats. Can't really, like, lower them. You just take them off. This is a... F they have this refueling hatch. Same for this side. Um, you got another light boat. The funnel, which, imagine going through that. Don't know what that hole is for. Yeah, there's these things, wherever the heck they are. Um, not 100% an expert. That hatch leads down to the boiler room, which we will go inside of in a hot minute. If I could close the store, because I don't want water gain. Then remember, it has a very low freeboard where I can easily get in here. And here we got. Oh, I forgot, um, sorry, I forgot about, um, the cabins, how rude to me. Um, yeah, well, we got, uh, cabins here, no portholes, but, like, we're kind of partially underwater. A cabin with books, all that jazz. You go in this cabin, um, has, like, another bed, and then this cabin also has another bed. What's in this cabin? Oh my, it's in our bed. I'm assuming that's the captain's cabin. I can definitely tell. And now in here, <laughs> um, we have the, I guess the, um, what do you call it? Um, artillery? No. The gun, the bullet room. <laughs> that's what I'm calling it now. Because I can't remember the name of this. Um, but this is where you have your bullets for guns. There's only two cannons, though, like, I don't know why. But in here, though, got the boiler room. Um, as you see, got their boilers and this thing. <laughs> um, it's our speed, RPS, whatever the heck that is, and whatever the heck that is. It's a clutch, got the reverse, in case you need to go in reverse. Don't want to be in here, but I guess that's a thing, apparently. Um, you got heat on there, steam there. You got fuel tank that are these purposely no offense but are they like purposely misspelled do they actually call it fuel with the night or are you just bad spelling um just so you know um fuel spelled with f u e l i'm not trying to offend the creator but and then curse a N C H O R, not F U I L and A N K E R. Um, just so you know, that's how you turn on the engines. Boom, oh, boy, but you get the idea. You got the throttle, and then yeah, I believe that's all of monitor down here. That is, because we go up here. <laughs> this is where all the If I can, okay, thank you. This is where all the bang bang gun gun action takes place. It's only two cans though, but yeah. And if you're asking me to put a bowl in there and fire the cannon, no, I am not doing that. It's possible, but it is a pain in my royal butt, alright? A pain in my royal stern. <laughs> it is just torturous. It took me like so long to get in there, and one time I got in there, but in the wrong way. Like if I see, they're not even; they're just connected to each other. So I'm gonna take it off. That's easy, and I'm not gonna do this for a while. Well, think. Wait a minute. Hold on. Bear with me. I'm gonna wait. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me on this. Oh my god. Uh -huh. See, I can't even get in, in position for favor of the cannon. Like. 
It's not, it's not even letting me through. It's not letting me do anything. At least you can just let me through. Like, gosh. Oh my gosh, if I could get this thing in. I can't pause the recording. I'm recording on the certain thing, so. Just kind of have to bear with me on this one. Oh. <gasps> After all that time. After all that time, are you <laughs> kidding me? What? I tried last time. It took me like a million years, and now it took me just like one minute. That's all. Move up that way in case it falls down. It's not going out that way. I mean, it's connected to a ma electric magnet, but I'm just making sure. And we're gonna. Fire it up all the way up to the max. All right. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> that is so awesome. I like how it's the flare and the bull at the same time. Yeah, last time I tried getting that in there, but. I just failed, so I gave up. So I'm glad I could actually do that for you guys. Although I I had to give up last time. At least it was off recording, so thank God for that. Um, assuming there's a push to toggle um, logic on there. So, uh, that was awesome. That's the best part of these ironclads that this guy makes. You can fire the cannons, although it's a pain in the world stern, as I keep on saying. But here is the tower, and that's actually all of the ship. Look at that, though. You can see the Wee House, all that. There's that hatch that leads to the engine room or boy room. Whichever one you want to call it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, about all apparently on the USS Monitor. So, why don't we test this thing? And we're going to definitely keep the hatches closed. There isn't a skull button on this, but ooh, I got plans to sink it. Got plans. And next time I record show, we're it's going to be a bit different than normal. But let's turn up the weather a bit. You know, actually, let me um close this one hatch first. Real quick, I want to make sure because um, just because Stormworks has like good physics doesn't mean it's not good. Good, like if there's holes like that, unless if there's like some sort of seal half water tight door because if it does have another half water tight door something like that wire won't get in there unless if that hatch isn't there if that's still there wire can get in there but in a specific way like if it's holes like that that don't have those um custom doors door through custom door frames i recommend adding hatches there by the way but if they don't have like those those um door frames that you can add to make your doors um water is gonna outside water is gonna get in like it won't care so i recommend making that thing where water has to go all the way up and then get in there other than that physics is okay anyways now let me um turn on all the water because we're clear No. It's a giant storm. Giant storm. It's raining everywhere. And. Me oh my. Ha have I not seen waves that big before? How can this thing survive Megalodon and Tsunami?
I wonder if the Megalodon will actually somehow damage this thing, the monitor. And it doesn't survive, because that'd be shocking, you know, because they're so hard to damage. Okay, we're getting lots of air time like we're in like mini tsunamis to the ship apparently um, Which speaking of tsunamis It's foggy all that and I think this is a glitch real quick I know it's kind of cheating but Let's help see if, um, whatever's in the water, if there's like a, it's not, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, <laughs> did you see that, <laughs> that's probably like the coolest way to make a Meg ever hit us, <gasps> we're right back up again, Yes, that was the coolest hit ever, although it's not a good thing to have, it was nevertheless cool. Um, uh, by the way, the tsunami's here. Gosh dang it, oh, my ship totally sink. Um, we're going completely underwater, nearly. So we come out, we're gonna, it just hit the back and just went all the way straight forward. It, it is not playing any games. No, it is not. Oh no, oh, that lifeboat's damage. Eh, I got that lifeboat. Though, um... We need to go back in the engine room and start those boys again, because I think they just all of a sudden turn off. Which, I don't know how exactly they do that, but somehow they do. Let me shut them up again. The make Are you kidding me? I just started the boys back up again. Here, just in case. Um. And then watch it just hit us again. Like, why? I, I literally just started the boys. I didn't do anything. Wait, up? Oh, that winch! <gasps> That's how you get more bullets! Oh! Very nervous. Okay, we're still moving. It's fine. It's definitely not sinking, that's for sure. Like, with a make hit us, it doesn't have really that much interior, so we should be fine. Let's see if we can survive lots of other makes. Ooh, that hit is very deep. My sh the ship definitely would sink if I opened up those doors. Yeah, thank you for giving me a boost. Thank, thank you, Megalodon. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, let's spawn our tsunami. <laughs> The only time we would sink is if either Meg hits an area where there's lots of interior or we open up those hatches. Actually, the it's like some sort of double hole. Ooh, besides here, we might be doomed if the Meg hits like, yeah, the floor. Oh, we'd definitely be doomed there. Speaking of which, where is the Maple done? 20 minutes in the video, I don't want to go report on recording.
Oh, oh, that's scary. This is the only way I can see what's like under a tsunami, so I'm, I'm gonna stay here and see what's like under a tsunami. Oh, that's so scary, like... If it's foggy and lightning strikes, you wanna look for land? Yet, yeah, when lightning strikes... You see a tsunami in the distance, that is scary. That's probably one of the top 10 scariest things I'd ever want it to be the last thing I'd ever want to see Me on a ship. Which, this is is pick us up now, it's only, oh, the funnel, oh, no, no, no. It's completely consumed us. Do we have a bit more water? Is that why? Oh, whoa, that's very vertical. That is a vertical. Um, well, we aren't really sinking. I'm gonna. Should I risk it? You know what? I think it's time we scout the ship. Because I don't want to make this too long, and I do, I always owe you a sunken ship. That, that's... Like... That's my quote, that I owe you a sunken ship. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna attach this slide, but which... All I can do to launch it is press this button. I can't actually lower it. It's not really David, which I don't think they were actually on the monitor. For it was built in the 1860s, after all. But yeah, just sink the ship. Screw it. Sink the ship. Um, that boat is gone. I can't launch that one because it's damaged. Oh, look at it. After two tsunamis, it's literally living up to sinking. Like... It's basically sinking from a storm. That's exactly what happened. Oh, there it goes. It's kind of listing starboard. I don't think there's enough wire in it yet. Oh. I think it's her final plunge. Final plunge time. Yep. And with that, the USS Marner was gone. With her lights still burning, even the boilers, even if they were like... Yeah, despite water being the boilers, not only are there no explosions, the boilers aren't even showing off as well. Which is kind of weird. Like, wh why is that a thing? There she goes. Um, that lifeboat betrayed me. It was upright before, but no, the game loves to cheat sometimes. As, whereas, where, where, blah, 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 blah. whereas, whatever you want to do, Stormworks always has something else in mind. It won't, it won't even let me on the boat. It always keeps kicking me off of it. Oh my god, it's like a horse that, that refuses, refuses to let you ride it. Oh my god, let me on the boat. I am on the. Are you dead? Oh, I thought the boat sank. I was about to say, are you dead serious? <laughs> well, this is my life now. Clearly, I'm not allowed to be on the lifeboat. I'm supposed to die. And I am. I am one with the water. And by the time I can get on that boat, 
I'm gonna be willing to die, so it doesn't matter anyways. Suddenly, although I'm doing it, the, the storm stopped. It doesn't matter. Pretend I'm pretend the weather options don't exist. The best I can do. But the storm has suddenly stopped. As it seems safe to finally get onto the lifeboats of doom. As it seems like, considering what it was doing to me much earlier. So that has been the USS Monitor, everybody. A Civil War ironclad. I can see on in the distance. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please um, subscribe, leave a like. like and it would be kind of nice if you check out my ships. As I have built no one, though it is on career mode, I'm not get, gonna upload it because it's for other purposes. It's on career mode. I made a new world. This is the first time I'm doing career mode. Honestly, to those who prefer creative, I suggest you do try career mode on Stormworks, which is what I'm recording next. Um. But like I suggest it. It's it's really fun making your own boats. It's possible to make your own boat. They do give you these skyrim tiles, though. You're limited to certain like things. Like you have to research for the stuff like cameras. You can't have cameras until you research them and all that jazz. There's some logic you have to re research. So I suggest you try out career mode, like because I never tried out career mode before. The only time I did was on the tutorial. Um, with that all aside, if thank you for watching and and comment down below what your favorite ironclad is. Because why not? <laughs> I think we should just have some commentary in this video. Because why not? But I will see you all later. Bye bye.